Yeah! Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the Day, and I try things so you don't have to. Today I have got a mystery snack box from Snack Fever, which is a subscription service that delivers Korean snacks right to your door. So you can get like a monthly subscription or uh, every three months, every six months, you can postpone for a month or two or, or whatever you want, all kinds of different options. But you never know what you're gonna get in each month's box. And they have different sizes. They have a mini box, they have a regular box, and they have a deluxe box. So whatever size fits you, that's the one you're gonna want. Now I've tried various Asian snacks before, but I've, I don't think I've ever had Korean snacks. Um, looked in the box here, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in this thing. I think what they sent me is their original box, but I mean, there's a ton in here. The only thing is that most of this is in Korean, and so I went over and invited my daughter-in-law I, please help me because she's Korean and but she doesn't she was born in America here so she doesn't read Korean she doesn't speak Korean she's just Korean so I didn't find a card in here that says what it is I believe that there's usually a card that tells you what each thing is um, they made this box especially for me so I, I'm just kind of winging it and and unless it's in English I'm just gonna have to show you and tell you what it's like. Okay, the first thing we have is right there. Absolutely no clue. It kind of looks like caramel corn, but everything is in Korean. Nothing is in English. I'm trying to get a smell to describe this, and I, I can't, I can't figure out what this smells like. If I've smelled anything like it before, it's real different. Here's what it looks like. Looks like a piece of hash brown, very hard, uh, obviously crispy, and I feel some either sugar or salt on it. Let's give it a shot. That was salt. It's sort of like a crispier popcorn. Like I said, absolutely no idea what it is. But it's pretty tasty, I like these. These would grow on me. Okay, these are the next ones I'm gonna try. This looks like, kind of like a shortbread cookie. And just so you know, um, if any of you are Korean and wanna tell me what this stuff is that I'm eating, go ahead and leave a comment, let me know. Yeah, so this is like one of those shortbread cookies that you get around the Christmas season in those blue tins. Let's give it a shot. It's light and crunchy, but it's not buttery like those cookies at Christmas. It, it, there's not a, there is a flavor to it, but it's not, it's not sweet, it's not buttery, it's, it's just kind of very mild, not too, these aren't bad, but definitely not my favorite. And there's the next one. It looks like uh, chocolate covered sunflower seeds, just going by the picture on the front. These have a nice little tear tab too, so easy opening. No scissors needed. Oh, and it's resealable too. I like that. Convenience is a very nice thing. There you go. A very deep, dark looking chocolate, but I have a feeling that's exactly what they are. Let's give them a shot. It's difficult to get a grasp on the chocolate because you've got the, the saltiness of the sunflower seeds inside kind of overtaking the chocolate so it's not like a real deep taste of a dark chocolate you've got more sunflower seed coming through so it's kind of a nice combination i like those there's the next one i have no idea what it is but there is a white cake with chocolate frosting and strawberry inside there's what it looks like uh dark chocolate stripes on the outside of what looks like milk chocolate the the texture is very soft kind of like it's a marshmallow or a very soft cake. Let's give it a shot. Don't see no strawberry, but I do get a slight flavor of strawberry, and it's kind of like a chocolate covered sponge cake, you know, like you'd have with, with strawberry shortcake. That's exactly what it's like. It's like the strawberry shortcake, only it's got chocolate on the outside, which makes it really good. It's kind of Neapolitan. There's the next one. It says on the outside that it's snack baked potato flavor. So 
Are they chips? I don't know. Take a look at the picture on there. Tell me what you think they are. So this is what came out of it. It's a wrapper within a box. I don't really get a smell from it, but it's kind of like Pocky without any chocolate coating or strawberry coating. Let's give it a shot. It's like a thin, crispy breadstick. Uh, no salt on the outside, just a real mild breadstick kind of flavor, I guess. Never tasted anything like it, so I, I, I don't can't really pinpoint it. I got two of those snack cake things. Okay, here's the next thing. Not going to be able to taste test those for you right now, but this is kind of like a Korean instant noodle ramen type thing. And this is a 4.76 ounce package, so this is a bigger package than like a top ramen. When I try this, I will let you know though. Okay, the next thing is a drink. This is cocoa grape. It's coconut and grape flavor. Sounds like a really weird combination to me, but something to cleanse my palate after all this other stuff. God, it smells good. It smells like a Kool-Aid, like a, a grape Kool-Aid. Let's give it a shot. This isn't bad. It is like a grape Kool-Aid, but watered down a lot. I'm not getting any coconut flavor, which is probably a good thing. Like I say, grape and coconut sounds like a weird combination, but I like this. Okay, getting down to the bottom. Uh, this looks like a chocolate all over Pocky. Once again, a package within a box, and it looks like a tube. Chocolate all over uh, one of those Pocky sticks. Let's try it. I don't like that at all. Um, at first I thought it was kind of like a pretzel type thing, but it's not. And, and I really don't know what to compare it to, but the chocolate is a bitter chocolate. It, it's not like a sweet chocolate, like a milk chocolate or even a dark chocolate. It's just kind of more like baking chocolate. Yeah, it says dark matched with cocoa biscuit and chocolate. So yeah, I'll pass on these. Okay, two more things that I might have to taste test for you later. This is a Korean instant coffee and I've got two packages of that. It's Mac Espresso. And being a coffee fanatic, chances are real good that I'm gonna like those. Okay, this next thing is something peach flavored. I don't know if this is a candy or a gum. Okay, by the shape of it, I would say it's a gum, but the packaging makes me think of a Starburst. And that does have the texture and the look of a Starburst. But, and it's yellow instead of pink. This is like a Starburst. It's, it's got that chewy Starburst texture to it. Huge peach flavor. Just a burst of peach flavor in my mouth. Here's the next thing. It's made by the same company, that Crown Company. And, and it's the same type of packages, only it's thicker. And I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm thinking it's a candy again because it, it looks like it's supposed to say it has vitamin C in it. It has the exact same shape as the last one and it's yellow again. Definitely a lot harder and a lot chewier than the last one. Can't pinpoint the, the flavor. It is a fruity type flavor but it's kind of like one of those flavors that's made up that it doesn't actually exist. They just kind of made up this this strange fruit flavor, but it is good. And finally, I've got three of these little things in the box. They kind of look like they're mints or after dinner candies. And there's what came out of the package. It's sticky, hard, kind of like it is a candy or a gumball. Oh, I didn't like that at all. I don't know what that was. Um, it's definitely a hard candy something you don't chew on, something you definitely suck unless you want broken teeth, but the flavor is weird. Ooh. So I'd say that's not bad. Out of all that stuff, there is only two things that I didn't care for that the, the dark chocolate Pocky, because it was more like a baker's chocolate, and those weird flavored candies. Everything else was good. So that is a mystery box from Snack Fever that puts out Korean snacks. And I'll tell you what, I've got a couple coupon codes down in the description, one for 10% uh, off your first original box and another one for 10% off your first deluxe box. So use whichever one you want to. So that was fun. I want to thank Snack Fever for sending me this thing. Uh, a lot of neat stuff to try and I've actually found that I like Korean snacks. So there you go gang. 
another taste test review thing in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and join me over at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Old Nerd Reviews and become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh. You can also find me over the website, oldnerdreviews.com, and over at Old Nerd Gamer, where we're playing all kinds of games. We're just about to start Subnautica. Well, depending on when you watch this video, we may have already started or ended it. I don't know, but we're playing Subnautica. So anyway, you guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll see you next video. Bye now.